the income line item, but we also have to keep in mind the other impact of it breaking out qualified dividends and non-qualified dividends because that can have an impact on the tax calculation, which is something we don't often see when we're double checking because we're kind of reliant on the software to do that calculation. But if we want to understand the difference between qualified dividends and normal or ordinary dividends, we've got to dig into the tax calculation. So you can see before we add the dividends, we have our normal progressive rates. So the taxable income in within these thresholds, as we've discussed before, are being taxed at these rates. Now, with the dividends, if they want to incentivize investments, say in United States companies, they might try to give a favorable tax rate. Well, how can they give a favorable tax rate if some people are taxed at higher rates than other people's? Well, that means they're going to have to come up with a whole nother progressive tax system 